Right, well, we're in the shed again, and uh, not a little lot of light because uh, we've been testing and doing things, so the lights are actually off. I'm just running off uh, the battery bank, USB thing, and a little lamp. Uh, it's brighter than it looks. The, the phone always makes it darker. So I've been running um, the white cable there on the right to the battery. Um, coming off the solar system which is a bit flat I've just put a volt meter in I'm going to put an amp meter in at some point as well and uh, the feeders are running all the way across to here uh, that's the repeater PMR repeater uh, input is channel 10 PMR and the output is channel 16 and the repeat controller there Still got a light blinking because it's running off battery and uh, when it's got no power going to it. So if the charge controller doesn't have enough power to power the repeater, the repeater will power down. But um, the controller will stay on with the backup battery inside. So when the power is restored, I won't need to turn that on because if you cut the power off, turn that off completely, I take out the backup battery, unplug the power. When you plug it in, you've then got to push the button hold it for 10 seconds and turn it on but by leaving the battery inside it stays on standby mode when the main power is cut off anyway right so as i said 10 channel 10 pmr channel 10 come the frequency off the top of my head i wrote it down but i've destroyed my shed so i've done it with a bit of paper's gone now oh there it's buried it buried it that's got to go back on there. Um, I did write on a bit of paper, but my pen went flat as well. Right. Um, input is 446.118.75. And channel output is channel 16, 446.193.75. Um, Again, so I can isolate the repeater by turning it on and off here. That turns it on. So now all the lights have come on here. So I've got USB power going to the controller. See the lights out. Turn it on. It's now on charge. And then the two battery eliminators here have got lights on them. And they're powering the radios. Um, two, two and a half watt if I'm lucky. On the Baofeng AAAS. Um, I could upgrade the antennas. Possibly need to. <laughs> Definitely need to upgrade the antennas. But at the moment, it's uh, off grid. It's running on solar, and it's just a bit of a fun project. Um, wires are everywhere. Um, there are better f switches I could have used, but um, they've just got random stuff laying around. And it's all G clamped onto a bit of wood, and the bit of wood's held on by one screw. And the bit of wood is also about two foot longer than I needed. Um, radios only work above and below if anyone's asking about the configuration. You can't have the radio side by side without a duplexer, which is like 150 quid from China. And this is a shed project. I'm not spending hundreds of pounds on putting two radios for a duplexer into one antenna. I'm doing it less. The repeater controller is from Shawcom. It's the Shawcom SR328 duplex repeater controller. It stops it from working backwards. If you had Vox, you got a delay and then you can talk into the output and then it'll transmit out of the input. Um, and that keys up that radio. It does the keying as well. So when that radio receives a signal, the repeater will then key up that radio um, I don't know if we'll get the LEDs in shot if I key up on channel 10 the green lights on the bottom radio red light on the top one and you can hear the repeater D key in there So that's it, up and running, off grid, um, 7 amp hour battery, 10 watt, just under an amp solar panel, so not the best of power solutions, um, but we can always upgrade if need be. 
but at the moment that's it I've been running again channel 10 input um, power repeat controller from radio isolator and then channel 16 for the output all right so at the moment it's got a range of about half a mile <laughs> and I've got to tidy this wire up but uh, that's the next job is resort out the solar system because it was just temporary and uh, again it's late at well, it's 10 to 9 now it's been dark for hours I've just been draining the battery um, hopefully I'll get a bit of charge in it tomorrow The load lights not even on the battery for the radio is running off that directly. Right, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm your pirate PMR repeater station. And this is what not to do. As I say, that's the isolator switch, and it's totally illegal to do this. Um, it's against all Ofcom rules and regulations and misuse of PMR radio so uh, I just built it for a demonstration to say that's how it can be built one of the ways you can do it so now I've shown you that's the demonstration over I can turn it off right that's off no laws being broke um, catch you on the next video do I do I do I nah fuck it